time, elect. It's time, those who are not ready to get your house in order. The hour is late. The hour is late. The death angel in the, in the days of Moses was the final plague that struck Egypt before God delivered the children of Israel out of bondage. His people that have been in bondage and oppression, the final plague is falling. May we run to Christ. This is the time those who, to, who, who take the mark and worship the image, and I have clearly taught and showed you all with the word of God, the image is the church. It's the churches. You give of your mind, you give of your hand, the right hand and your mind, which is your authority, which is your mind, which is your, you give of your heart to, to its false teachings. God has no respect to persons, folks. Only those robed in his complete word. I've said many times, every major revival that's happened in the history has come from a King James Bible. All these other translations have been watered down translations, anointed of hell to water down the word of God to tell you that, oh, it helps me understand it better. No, the Holy Ghost, Jesus said, I'll send you the comforter. See, those who have the Holy Ghost, they get the revelation. They understand the word. He speaks to them in the hidden place of their hearts. That's the message of the hour. It's the hour of the Holy Ghost. It's the hour that you need to have, make sure you have the Holy Ghost. If you're still smoking cigarettes, if you're still holding on to the things of this world, you're, still, you're holding on to false teaching, You've been baptized in, in titles of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You've been baptized in the name of Jesus Christ to take on his name, which is to take on his word, which is to take on his spirit, which is to be baptized with fire of the Holy Ghost. That is your only place of protection. If you're trusting in a church, you're trusting in uh, anything you want in this life, we only have one place to turn to, Jesus Christ the Word. Today I, I saw an article, and it was released. The, monk, the, the, the very plague prophecy. I'm outside where the night where God spoke to me in September of 2021. told me to come outside where I'm at right now. And to, he showed me the revelation that there was a boiling skin plague coming that would attack the skin of the people. He didn't give me the word monkeypox or smallpox, but I, knew, I got to see what it looked like. Through the leaf, the connection of the leaf, he told me to drop it on the ground. When I came outside here that night, he revealed to me the church is putting out a false image. It's been putting out a false, a false image of the cross. Across the land, deceiving the people, buying, getting people caught up in Trump narratives and all these other different things going on. Getting people worship idolatry that's going on within the message of the hour. The great spirit of Leviathan, he, he, he's, a, he's a stubborn spirit. He's not going to listen. He's not going to break. That's, that's fine. He's not going to repent. The leaders of men. But God comes for his sheep. My, his sheep hear his voice. And a stranger, hallelujah, they will not follow. So, just saw an article was shared with me tonight, and now this, this small monkey pox has now been found in the United States of America. It's in other countries, and God gave me the prophetic warning over almost a year ago, well, nine months ago, to tell the people. And the message is, my message has never always been the same. Get into Jesus Christ, and you're only born by the word. These churches are putting out false narratives and giving you false hope. These false prophets, they're all, they're all going to be judged. Babylon and all of them are going to be judged and exposed by the mighty sword of the Spirit, by the mouth of God through His Word. Amen? It's a very solemn feeling over me tonight as the Holy Spirit. As I stepped outside, you can't see it now, but there was a cloud. It reminded me of the, mo the movie, The Ten Commandments. And... Uh, with Moses before the night of the death angel. Folks, heed God's warning. Please hear his voice. He loves you. Take, is this is, there's, you know, you, oh, I want, I'm only 22 years old, or I'm only, I got, I got a long life ahead of me. I want to, I want to, I want to start a family. I got all these other, I, 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 listen, you're not going to start, you're not going to hinder my personal dream of life. Time is out. Time is now, guys. Today is, now is the day of salvation. You can still give your heart completely to Jesus Christ and surrender your all to him. He'll still bless you and protect his people in these final moments of life on this earth and time of history that we're all walking into. The WHO meets next week. 
and, and, and they're going to be voting, and our country is going to surrender its rights to the WHO. It's all a part of the agenda. It's all part of the rise of the Antichrist and, and the Pope who's behind all of this to rise up in power. That's what they're going to, they're going to bring all this under one. All under one. And then you and your desperation, because you never got the Holy Ghost, you're going to go right into it. You're going to walk right into that complete Mark of the Beast system 100% and be completely lost. Done. You think it's tough now. Wait till the tribulation sets in. God have mercy. Heed God's warning. Heed God's voice. He loves you. But if you reject him, he don't send nobody to hell. He don't, he don't, he don't. It's on him that brings judgment. It's your rejection. It's your rejection of the word. It's your rejection of, of his voice. It's your rejection of, rejecting the Holy Spirit. It's your rejecting his grace, his love, his mercy. To follow him is what brings on the judgment. You bring it on yourself, folks. God's a God of love. He's a loving God, but he's also a righteous God and a God that has to judge sin. Turn to him now. In Jesus Christ's name, amen.